Hi there everybody, it's UK independent Stamping Up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Today I'm creating this card, which is slightly unusual. I bet you're looking at the flowers and thinking, where are they from? Which stamp set's that? Well, it's from the Sweet Citrus stamp set, which isn't actually a floral stamp set. Let me show it you. It's a fruit stamp set that was from the old mini catalogue and it's carried over into the annual catalogue. And it's this one. Now, I've made a few cards with this where I've done lemons and oranges and things like that. But today I'm doing this alternative floral take card. So the bits you're going to need are the three flowers that come as one piece the one flower that comes as another piece, and then there's also a central bit, like a pip, from the lemons and um, oranges that you can create. And I'm going to be using that for the center of the flower. So the cardstock that I'm using is 10.5 centimeters by 14.8, which is the exact same size as my card base. And I'm just going to be stamping my images down with Memento ink because I'm going to be using my blends. And I'm stamping these up the card. I'm going a bit wider at the top than I am at the bottom so that it looks like they're sprayed out. And where the gaps are, I'm filling it in with the single flower. Now this is the centre bit that I said was like um, the middle of the orange or the lemon, whatever you were creating. And I'm just popping this in the middle of the flowers. And I liked the effect so much that when I got to the bottom, I thought I'd try and see what they look like in the little ones. And they work in there as well. So you can pop them into the centre. Now you can't see it fantastically well on this video, but there's lots of detail to this little stamp. It's not just a black dot. It's actually got little clear bits in the middle of it. It's really pretty. So those flowers look really cool when they're done. I think they look like spirograph type flowers. So I'm going to be using a host of bright colours for this. So this is dark and light lemon lime twist. And what I'm doing is I'm colouring each flower. I'm doing two big ones and two little ones in the same colour. And I'm going bright, bright, bright. So I'll tell you the colours as I'm going through them. Now this stamp set comes with a coordinating embossing folder, which is one of those cut and embossing folders. It's really cute and I do have videos of me using this on my channel with the fruit and honestly it's one of my favourite stamp sets but I'm quite happy that I've been able to find an alternative use for it because there's only so much lemons and oranges I feel you can put on a card right? So this is Bubble Bath Light and Dark. This is one of the new colours from the catalogue and it's a really really pretty colour. So if you're looking at the catalogue or if you're looking online I think it looks more purple a bit like fresh freesia, but it's actually not. It's a proper baby pink and it is so pretty. This one's Moody Mauve. So this is one of the new in colours. And I've been hearing mixed reviews on this. I was looking at the demonstrator site the other day and a lot of demonstrators don't like it and have said they won't use it. I like it. I don't think we've got like a deep dark pink. It's more like a plummy type colour. And I think it's really attractive um, to use. And I also think that when you mix it up with the other blends we've got, you can actually create some really cool blended colours. I'm obviously not doing that on this card because this is quite a simple image. But if you had a detailed image, that would be the best place to use that Moody Mauve. Next colour in, Pool Party. That hat's a feature. I love Pool Party. If you're regular on my channel, you know this one is used very well, to be fair. Um, I have had to replace my Pool Party blend lots of times because I can't stop using it it's just the most happy color out of all of our colors i absolutely love it i did get the idea for this card from a photo frame that i made a few years ago so i made a wedding photo frame that's also on my channel and um, i had all these flowers sort of cut out of it and i popped the invitation in there and then put all these flowers sort of stemming out of it which i liked and it came to me while I was making this card that I thought this card looked very similar to that. Sorry, this is Daffodil Delight Light and Dark. And I thought maybe, maybe if I sat and cut these flowers out because there's die cuts in that embossing folder, we could kind of recreate the same frame, which would be cool. And um, keep track to my channel to see me do that because I'm looking forward to playing with it. This is Balmy Blue. No, so, no, 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 it's not. It's Boho Blue. Boho Blue. And now we've got a balmy blue and a boho blue. It is just confusing. <laughs> but yes, that's boho blue. There wasn't a big flower for that, but it is the darkest of all the colours. So I didn't mind not having it. The sentiment I'm going to be using is thanks a bunch. And I'm just going to pull that off. 
And then what I looked at was a variance of my punches and I wasn't too keen on the sizes of the circles. They were just a bit too big for this one. So I decided to make my own sort of tag by using the triple punch. Love this, it's so pretty. Now I'm using this one that's gonna be on the top right corner, but I needed to cut my paper down first. So I've cut it so it's two inches by two inches. Um, and the reason why I've actually put it lined up on the middle and not lined up at the top was because as I was doing it, I noticed that one of the sides weren't straight and I wanted them all to be straight. So I thought I'll use the lines on the grid paper. Now, when you're using this corner, you need to flip it in between goes. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So when you do one side, flip it rather than turning it 90 degrees and that will work much better. And then you just want to pop your sentiment on. So I did the cement sentiment in memento stamped it in the middle and there we go really cute i wanted a little bit more of a definition so i decided to put some ribbon behind it this is the pool party ribbon from the catalog that i'm going to be using and it is just beautiful now i didn't want to do loads i didn't want to do a strip round. i didn't want to do a bow so i've just cut myself sort of about four inches and i'm just trimming the bottom so that we have a really nice sort of shaped bottom to it and then I'm going to stick it down as sort of like that sort of like a little bit of a what's it called where they sort of loop the ribbon over on the badges that they do I don't know but a looper ribbon looks like the tail of a bow really and then just pop the sentiment over the top part like that and there we go that's pretty much the essence of the card and I'm going to stick it onto a card base and then I'm going to sort of jazz it up with some embellishments but instead of actually using embellishments I'm going to be using uh, metallic enamel effects they look just the same but you can squish out whether they're big or whether they're little and we've got them in this black color which is great and I'm just going to pop a few of those over the card and there we go it's an alternative card using the sweet citrus but it's not a lemon and it's not an orange I quite like it what do you think hmm? I like it and here's the finished project. Thank you for joining me. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. Everything I've used today is available from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. If you did enjoy the video, please do drop me a like or leave me a comment. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and come back for more content. I also have an Instagram page that I'm trying to grow at the same time. It's at slimandstylish and every like or follow helps. Thanks everybody for joining me. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Bye.